Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to the best in beauty for this year 2020. This is <laughs> this is has been this year has been like a horror show, <laughs> but I I got to be true to myself at least. Uh I wasn't like too too much into makeup. I kind of lost interest initially and then I kind of picked up with certain incredible products. I I like uh, bought some incredible products and I really wanted to use them. So like kind of motivated me to put makeup on and then again I lost interest so I was guys all completely honest I'm just being very very honest I wasn't like too much into makeup like buying more and more nothing like that I was like very minimalistic there were just few things that I really liked and I just spent my money on those brands and those products so at least in my eyes, the products that I'm about to show you guys is it's kind of minimalistic, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I, I guess you guys are the judge of that. So let's start with skincare. Um, these are like the must skincare. I use way more than what I'm about to show you guys, but these are like the ones that even on days I'm like completely not interested in doing anything. Like even like <laughs> moving, moving the smallest object is like moving a mountain. You know, when you're in that kind of a mood, uh, I still, you know, have to put these things on my face to just like save my skin. So this is E-Race Milky. This is kind of like a multi-product, like a serum, I'm sorry, not a serum, like a toner. And although Drunk Elephant doesn't really use the word toner because they initially they came out with this like... Um, you know, press release or you know like just getting the word word out that they don't like toners the idea of toners but you know this is kind of like a toner basically it's like a micellar water so cleanser and toner just it's like a leave-on cleanser basically so after you cleanse your face you can just leave this on or use like a pad or like a like a cloth and also wipe it off whatever it is so i like this to use this as a toner very moisturizing guys you can see that how soft and moisturizing your face feel so erase milky micellar water from drunk elephant is nice it's not crazy expensive it's not like 90 dollars or something it's like 28 25 or 30 it's definitely not over 30 i think and they also have like a mini size i'm so happy drunk elephant has mini sizes in most of their skincare you can definitely give it a try it's like very very easy for everybody to use and then let me quickly show you the serums or, or basically the stuff that i use from drunk elephant it's a must so this one the um c forma serum this is the daytime serum and then the nighttime serum is that and then i definitely must use the poly wait proteiny polypeptide cream i usually use this as like a cocktail with oh things are about to fall down but let's see usually i use this and this together like mix it up in, like in a cocktail and just apply it on my face all over my face even uh lower uh under eye eyelid i'm very very used to uh retinol so this is actually retinol sorry sorry guys i'm just like showing you products a a passioni retinol cream so i'm used to retinol cream uh with the highest like uh like dosage so this doesn't irritate my under eye or doesn't my skin doesn't come peeling off so that's why i'm using it also on my under eye but i don't actually dot things in under eye i like mix it up and just apply it on my face so at the end of the day the amount that actually goes under the eye and on the lid is very very little so just fyi so these are the things i use again i don't buy full i stopped buying full sizes like two years ago i think it's just it takes up too much space the trap when i want to travel i always end up buying like a mini size so what's the point so i just buy mini size if sufferer doesn't have it i just don't buy i just use some kind of other serums from the ordinary or you can also buy directly from drunk elephant's website so i just don't buy the full size at all with respect to drunk elephant i don't i just don't buy full size uh, with anything this is the last time i actually would be buying full size of the poly proteiny polypeptide cream as well they just came out with a mini size it's too bulky it's too big it takes up so much of space it's it's also heavy it's just there's no point to be honest so uh yeah and it's also expensive so one other thing which is about to fall off i want to show it to you 
So this is a Color Science uh, Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield in the shade Bronze. I did not, I've never seen a sunscreen made in the bronze shade, a physical sunscreen. Usually people just like, I've seen so many uh, videos on sunscreens for dark skin. They're all the list that I see is only chemical sunscreens. I just don't use chemical sunscreens. Actually, my, my skin is not sensitive or anything. I just, I just don't like them, to be honest. I prefer physical sunscreens, the natural ones. They are much more better for your skin and they don't irritate your skin. And this is like, uh... Hang on, let me quickly check if there's, looks like it just has a uh, zinc oxide. This sunscreen is based, fully based on zinc oxide and it has a PA++ is based, the, I don't know if you can see here, the PA++ down here is basically how um, strong or effective the sunscreen is against UVA rays which actually goes in like really causes all sorts of problems so three pluses means really good but you can also go up to four pluses which means it's excellent so great price and it's bronze it's like uh, thank you like thank you so much for thinking of dark skin right when there's no other brand now, in case you're not able to get this product or if you're not able to find this product, don't worry. You can just use your sunscreen, whichever you have, and mix it up with a little bit of bronze liquid highlighter, whatever it is, like bronze liquid highlighter or, or if you have like those color drops, just mix it in and the problem solved. But this is like comes in one product and the formula is amazing. And look at that. It just vanished. It just, you don't even see it. It's incredible. In just the best guys and the price is also it's not like hundred dollars or eighty dollars now this is like 38 I, I believe 35 or 38 something like that i bought mine on amazon you see if you can find it on amazon or just buy it also from color i think you can also find color signs in other uh derm store or or you know uh, other retailers like that then there are three things from the ordinary which is like a must for me it's like absolute must First, the caffeine solution, 5% ECG. I don't know what E, sorry, EGCG. I'm not sure what EGCG is, sorry. I just never really looked into what it is. But the caffeine solution is a must for me. Whatever it is, this goes under my eye and also my lids every single day, morning and night. It goes, and uh, the squalane. Um, actually, when I mix these two, you know, the retin, the retinoid cream and the polypeptide i also mix this in with that and just apply it on my face because retin is kind of like drying and squalene is basically like a um like a booster like a moisturizing booster it just it's not exactly this is just 100 percent squalene uh yeah it's just for surface hydration it's not exactly a serum and a, and it's a product that you don't use after the cream you know it's like an in between it's when you use the, your boosters so like this this is like i use it as a booster this is also like a booster i know it's like a cream form but it's not exactly a mo it is i guess uh, you know uh, marketed as a facial moisturizer but it's not exactly m like very creamy or thick to moisturize even my skin tone and my i don't have dry skin i have like a uh you know what's called mix it Hang on, what is it? What's it called? Combination, yeah. Combination skin. I have dry, I'm like my face is not exactly dry, but just like patches. I get dry patches and my nose is also no oily, so it's like combination skin. And even for my skin type, this is not exactly a good, like a thick moisturizer. So I use it as like a booster because it has this polypeptide and it like hydrates and like, um, you know, basically it like fills in your lines. You know, your, your lines don't appear like very deep set. So this is like a booster. So squalane, the retinoid and the polypeptide, I use them all together. So it definitely makes my skin awesome and very soft. So I'm just like dropping things on the floor. And then the other one is the moisturizer guy. I, I've been, I go through this so many of these. This is a very simple, no frill, no fuss moisturizer. This is just a moisturizer. I don't think it has very fancy ingredients, nothing like that. Just like your basic moisturizer. The, ba the main function of this is just to moisturize your face. And it's pretty thick. I gotta say, it's not thick that you have to like, um, you have to like work, your, work it into your skin. You see that? It's just, it's good, but it's, 
it's good. It's it's I would say it's perfect. I I prefer to spend my money on boosters and serums than moisturizers. Uh, like booster as in like I, I consider this also like a booster like the ca castor oil this is like very inexpensive this is like this is a workhorse guys this is like beauty workhorse may, may, you know what I'm planning to do maybe I should do a, like a video on makeup or beauty workhorses where uh, like this is would be like the leader it's like king right uh, it's like amazing this makes my skin feel instantly soft it's like super super sticky it's not like an oil that travels a lot it doesn't even move to be honest at the end of the night at uh, when i go to bed i just take a little bit and just you know wipe it but like uh, rub it between my uh fingers and then just like touch my lashes just to i don't know i've heard it would help with lashes but in all honestly, I have not really seen a, like a very significant result in my lashes. They just look the same. I don't know. Maybe it is long or maybe it's thicker. I just I just haven't seen a lot of like significant results. I don't know, guys. So, but yeah, but I use this. I mix it in with my moisturizer. Mix it in with my hand cream, which is this O'Keefe Working Hands. It's a super thick and it just makes my hands so, so soft. My babies are really, like, they're constantly, like, touching my hands saying, oh, your hands are so soft. Truly, their hands are soft. Mine, I'm just, like, <laughs> with all the hand washing. And I don't really have, like, super, super soft hands, to be honest. My husband has softer hands than mine. My, my hands are pretty rough. And even the, the palm, the inside is kind of, I, I, I have rough hands. But... <laughs> After using these, okay, the okay hand cream and the castor oil, uh, my kids are like raving about, about my skin. They love it so much. Then this is like, ugh, I cannot, I know it's like so dirty. I'm like embarrassed to show it to you guys. But I think this amazing product has descended on Ulta's website. When I first got it, it was not available. Uh, I think just on Amazon. I saw it just on Amazon and Amazon, they... I found just this mega jumbo size. This is like half a liter, more than half a liter. It's like 562 milliliters, which is 19 fluid ounces. It's like jumbo size. And this is like the best cleanser ever. I still have cleansers from the the, the melting slime, melting butter from Drunk Elephant, which I have not touched. I just cannot stay away from this product. I have bought um Fenty Beauty's cream to foam cleanser this is also a cream to foam cleanser makeup cleanser from CeraVe it's like incredible it melts the makeup within seconds I got a like very important disclaimer I don't use like a makeup base like a foundation or a, or you know like um uh you know what else like a concealer right but I just you you can see the amount of eye makeup that I use and I, have, and I still have like blushes, uh, you know, uh, liquid highlighter, uh, sunscreen. I have a lot of things to remove, obviously, but not like a heavy duty makeup. But still these, uh, the makeup remover just like takes it off, melts it away in like seconds. I'm telling you, you will be like so, so in awe of how awesome that product is and how inexpensive that is it's like incredible and fragrance free i definitely want to compare the fenty beauty's cream foam cleanser to cerave's cream foam cleanser coming very soon then joe malone's uh peony and blush suede body cream i got this recently because again like there was this some kind of oh this is just like it's not a lot it's not like it kind of looks like a jumbo size i guess it is a jumbo size but it is 5.9 fluid ounce and 175 milliliters. I got to say this is much thicker and much moisturizing than uh, Sol de Genere. Hang on, what's it called? Uh, boom Boom Cream. Let's just call it the Boom Boom Cream. <laughs> it's not as, it, it's much more thicker and much moisturizing, all day long moisturizing than the Boom Boom Cream and the scent is even more stronger and lasts longer. But it is much, much, much more expensive. I think Boom Boom Cream is what, 50 or 60 dollars, something like that. This is like 75, I think. It was expensive, 75 or 80, something like that. But this is definitely, I, I, I don't think I'll actually be buying this and making this as my regular body cream. 
because it's kind of expensive but if I get a chance to get it at a discount or if I have a gift card I would definitely get that it's really really good so if you're considering buying um, you know like a thick fragranced moisturizing uh, body cream I definitely recommend the uh, Jo Malone body creams they're really really nice so yes we I've been here 15 minutes and still we haven't started with a makeup so let's get started guys let's start with uh, eye bases this is like my holy grail you don't even have to buy these exact products if you know of other products that kind of have the same kind of effect characteristics to them you can just get them but these these four together make my eyeshadow last all day or should I say until I take it off right this makeup I've had for easily seven hours and it looks so brand new look at it it looks so brand new like I just applied it so you need one moisturizing primer eye base this is a NYX HD base and then you need one kind of eye base it could be any color to be honest I, I, I don't even mind what color it's gonna be because I just applied this base it's from Makeup Forever Aqua XL I think Makeup Forever is discontinuing this product but I'm sure they'll come out with something similar and also awesome their products are see really really nice so this is just uh, like a makeup base which kind of as you can see it's dry so you can just spread it around blend it it sets and it doesn't move so I use a base like this or right now in my collection this is the only thing I have like this so if you have if you know of any other product that is similar to that you can just use it I just use it on the crease crease as in not the brow bone or in between the crease the actual crease where the, there's a line you see the the line there I that the reason the, the makeup has not creased is because I have this product exactly on that line so that 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 area along that curvature is completely set and dry and there's no trace of the of the my crease at all so that's why the makeup has not creased it's like like brand new and then I do my you know my matte eyeshadow my outer V and lower lash line and just before putting my you know uh, lid shade whatever I put in my lid shade I put use this always I use this and sometimes I just use this if the eyeshadow requires that I use like a more if the eyeshadow is more flaky and I want it to more like set and waterproof I go with a mixing medium the one I have is mix uh, stay put by JD glow but you could just use any mixing medium and this glitter glue is like the one I was wearing is <laughs> actually NYX glitter glue so yeah that is like awesome those things are just like it's a must for me and then eyeliners liquid eyeliner Milani I just stick to this it's an awesome eyeliner uh, it just it's not a very it's not a very precise brush as you can see uh, you know it's it's kind of thick the line is kind of thick but you know it works well it stays well it just doesn't move I love it it's just minimalistic and it's basic and minimalistic but just perfect there's no frill it just does its job perfect and then uh, Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil is just like, this is the best guys. It has the right amount of stiffness and then, but that re the right amount of creaminess as well so that it glides on the lower lash and you don't have to rub it. You don't have to like go back and forth, nothing like that. It's just, it's incredible. And along with it, I thought I brought the sharpener. The Urban Decay sharpener is also good. Awesome. Oh wait, I have it the urban decay sharpener is also incredible i have a lot of these i think i believe i have like five of these just lying in every little makeup purse i have that way i sh i would never be without the sharpener that's how amazing it is it's super super it's amazing oh wait i think i forgot about the drunk elephant lippy lippy balm is just awesome look if I want to just moisturize my lips, I could use anything. I could just, honestly, I don't even mind. I could buy any lip balm and my lips would be good. But the problem area is the skin around my lip line. That's that's what gets really, really dry during the winter colder season when it's about to get dry. And it just, it, it, it like creates a havoc. It creates a havoc and I, it would not go away. 
no matter what I do, no matter what, what uh, serums or whatever I use, it just won't go away. Except for this is the only thing that would just soothe and moisturize the skin around my lip line and really keep my lips looking like plump. Look at that skin around it. It's like, it's it's perfect, amazing. I would never give this up, guys. It's amazing. And Drunk Elephant's Lippy Balm is just awesome. Let's talk about eye, eye shadow. I want to keep it minimalistic because that's what I've been doing all this year. And also I want to give also a little bit of a shout outs for certain eyeshadow palettes here and there. Because, um, hang on. Although I didn't use that all that well, it doesn't mean it's not a great product. It's awesome. Cleona, I have to, I have to talk about Cleona, guys. Oh, wait, I don't want to blind you. Let me just hold it. Cleona shadows are just awesome. Obviously, their jewel tone multi-chromes are like everybody talks about it. But my favorites are the Iridesc Series 2 Iridescent Multi-Chromes, which just looks white. Uh, the biggest challenge is they all look white. And it's like so hard to um, figure out which shadow you just used and which one you would you want to use or which shadows you want to combine you have to like swatch every single time you use them and that's kind of like um it's a little confusing but otherwise they are awesome guys the series to iridescent is just it is like the best thing that's happened to one of the best things that happened to makeup for dark skin i gotta say and then the deep iridescents are just like wow how how did somebody even think of like thank you for thinking of to making iridescence for deeper skin tone where the base is like believe like a grayish base so it does not leave even the slightest cast and hang on another one let's do another one which one this one so i love all the shades that they have in the deep iridescence and the series two i really want to give a shout out to those two collections they have a lot of collections in their stained glass multi-chrome um you know collection i guess they have series one in uh iridescence series two iridescence they have deep iridescence they have jewel multi-chromes are the darker ones that have like the black base uh so those are like this you know let me quickly swatch that you know like this you know, so how jewel tone they are and they all have like a very dark base. So yeah, something like that. So those are the jeweled multi-chromes and these are, and they also have glitter multi-chromes, which just looks like pretty chunky. They have, I know there are so many other indie brands. I, I hear Davina Cosmetics is awesome. Terra Moons is uh, jewel multi-chromes. I personally never used it. But I hear a lot of good things about them too. But Cleona has a wild collection. The, the, this Their stained glass collection is wild. <laughs> you have so much to choose from. And their packaging, everything is just impeccable. So yeah, I I personally, I'm siding with Cleona. <laughs> just because of their, how like wide, like vast, that their, the stained glass collections. You can just like... You just browse forever and look for swatches. It's awesome, guys. And then let's talk about matte eyeshadows. Hang on, I'm just like moving things around. Uh, I kind of want to stick to the ones that I got this year, but still, Viseart on the whole is just incredible. Today I used this product. This this uh, palette is the Grande Pro Volume Three. Uh, I don't recommend the volume 2. I just have a lot of problems with that palette. I just don't think it's worth the price. Maybe we should do like a products it's a, that I hate video. And I'll, I'll talk about that in detail. But it's just not good. I, I personally, if I, if I can return it, I would just return it. So this is like the basic for a dark. If, if you are, have dark skin and if you just want a palette that would just fit your needs uh just get this this is like a basic palette guys <laughs> like it has all the everything you need yeah i mean it doesn't exactly have black but this is like very warm tone and i think it's like a dark skin version of vizier's zero one palette a neutral one i think it's called uh and yeah 
this doesn't have too too many cool tones this is kind of this brown and this this pearl. this is a little bit cool toned and then this purple is also cool toned so it doesn't have too many cool tones but vizier shadows are uh true to what you see in the what you see in the pan is exactly what you would get on the eyes they blend like a dream and they are not powdery when you apply a vizier eyeshadows on the eyes i mean on the lid that is not just like blend it on the outer v and the lash line no if you use it on the eyes it it like sets on your eye and becomes skin like it's like magic guys it doesn't like it's not powdery it does not like patchy or you know certain brands when you apply it first it looks good but after a few hours you'd see like patches missing like it's this that you would not experience that with vizier shadows these are opsum this is neutral mats milieu yeah neutral mats milieu and i also like this because it's so colorful sure it doesn't have purples but there is one pink and then there's also some blue so you can definitely mix it and to get some purples or like like an orchid like a purpley pinky purple shades you can do it it's like it's totally awesome uh so yeah definitely vizier all the way for mattes guys and then i wanted to talk about these two palettes from uh pat mcgrath these two are just awesome guys <laughs> this i am a big star wars fan i mean i watched all 12 movies and i subscribed to disney just to watch the mandalorian and i am i still have few episodes to watch so <laughs> I've been looking forward to season two from Mandalorian for so long and uh, yeah I did not end up getting the Star Wars collection I just slept I slept through the launch and then I just missed it but so I was very happy to buy a palette that has everything together and I really like this palette you can do several looks you can do red looks you can just do bronzy looks gold looks do vampy looks with colors like this can do the, like, just basic gold looks with these colors and then a lot of purples you got, you also have like pinks baby pinks here and mauve right a plum shade you can do you do these two with plums this is a red right here this is also like a yeah this is like a red this is a duochrome and you have like very very simple colors like uh what this is just like a champagne gold you can do several looks with this palette i really really like it i like the um you know the mattes the metallics everything is really 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 good guys i really like the palette i know that one that particular one didn't exactly cause a lot of buzz probably there were so many repetitions but since i missed the star wars collection it was a jackpot for me now this one again it's a divine 2 palette she didn't exactly market this as oh this is a rosy tone palette for dark skin she didn't exactly come out and say it, but it's kind of obvious because the divine rose one was just i was not willing to pay 125 dollars for that palette it was just no i don't know i'm just not drawn to that i don't know bridal <laughs> maybe you should blame it on my mentality because indian brides just don't look like western brides they are just like it's a totally different ball game maybe you should do like a video between indian brides and american brides how the makeup you'll know what i mean when i say that <laughs> this is not indian brides don't look like or like the brides that's like showcased in the, in the movies that i see or like on youtube that i see uh so yeah <laughs> when i first saw the bridal makeup i was like how will anybody even recognize that you're a bride if you were if you're if you look like that again don't don't blame me it's just like a society and culture that i grew in that is not what indian brides look like but anyways uh, this look like superb this is a workhorse again you can this this particular shade is what i have on today as a blush and this one this one is what i have on today as um uh, highlighter both are awesome guys both both as cheek products are incredible they are not marketed as cheek products at all they this is just like an eyeshadow palette but awesome and the other colors also is just incredible i love this palette so so beautiful what else i think we have come to the end for eyes that's all i want to talk about with respect to eyes 
let's talk about um, another little like uh, something that overlaps is this one this guy this is also kind of like a duo purpose product this is from makeup by mario i love the formula i gotta say um the formula is awesome the glitter kind of just stays in place this is called the crystal uh reflector so you can use it as a highlight i think it's it just says highlighter so it's marketed as a highlighter you can definitely use it also on your on the eyes the glitter stays in place i really like it it's super awesome to use it like works incredibly well with your brush and your finger in fact you're able to pick up more with your brush with your finger it's just able to pick up a little bit so actually that is good right and especially when you're using it with your hand you don't want to create a lot of mistakes so when you have we're using your hand if you just want to do be a little subtle right so this is actually a perfect uh, formula in my opinion so let's talk about Inglot's uh, what is what are these called sparklers right they have medium sparklers they have intense sparklers and they have soft sparklers soft sparklers are my favorite don't get me wrong just because they say uh, like soft doesn't mean they're actually soft they're pretty uh, glowy but it's just uh, for lack of glitter they call it spark sorry soft so this is intense intense has a lot of glitter so that's a green one and i went back to buy so many different colors this is 18 the magic and this is the i think medium i don't think i bought brought the soft with me right now for the video i'm so sorry guys but that is my abs un, like absolute favorite I, and with respect to swatches soft sparkler will be the one that is like most underwhelming to see because it has no sparkle the magic of so these uh what are these called sparklers okay uh in let's let's just go with the full name the magic for the the the, the magic that has in these soft sparklers medium sparklers and intense sparklers is basically the base kind of melts into your skin and after a while you don't see the base at all. So all you see is that glow and since a soft sparkler does not have a glitter at all, it just, it basically, it looks like your skin is on like, your skin looks like glass basically. It's like incredible. This is like the best highlighter I've used so far I would say, yeah. They're so underwhelming to swatch and to use, but I got to say on the cheeks, they're so, so good. Um, Inglot is like uh, putting these on sale. That's why I got, went back and got some of these for $5, guys. For $5, so get them. At least try the soft sparklers. Soft sparklers are just awesome. And these, this is Sparkling Dust Face and Eye. This is also from Inglot. I wanted to give like a shout out to this. Looks like I have not even opened this. I got the one that they did with JLo, but I kind of misplaced it and they were like doing like an awesome sale. So I just went, went and got it again. These are like major, major glow. This is like, <laughs> this doesn't exactly have chunky glitter at all. It's like major glow. It's like intense. These are called the sparkling dust. These are like loose, but look how look how like smooth they are super smooth and awesome so those are the highlighters that i love um i would say overall just not under inglot the so the soft sparklers medium and the intense sparklers i just love them yes period so let's talk about some uh i just want to give out a little shout out to natasha denona's love glow palette just because i've just used it and it has like blush and highlighter together so it's like more convenient for me to use it so i've used them a lot i've used it a lot you can see how dirty and how <laughs> disgusting that looks i've used it a lot i love this watermelon color um blush i used it quite a lot and i would usually go use this and also sometimes top it off with a powder blush it's like so balmy looking so look at that if you build it up you definitely easily see the watermelon shade it's super easy to see it on dark skin it's not very uh you know it doesn't look like gold or anything it definitely looks like blush on my skin tone and this one too is so awesome 
I cannot wait for her to do another color story. She recently did like a bronze. It just, what? You, you already have like a tan palette. Why, why the, the bronze just looked like different colors of gold. No. And another shout out to the mini bloom um, power, glow powder blush. If you love um, blush toned highlighters, get this. It's a shame I have not used this all that much. I gotta say it's an awesome color. It like it's incredible on dark skin. It's an awesome color. You can see the base. It's just like so it's incredible you know what i should just do this I, sh I, sh I should just start using it all i gotta do is just leave it out so that i'll actually look at it and then out of sight of out of mind it's true i'm telling you if you don't see it you just kind of forget about it okay let's talk about blushes i got this very 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 recently but these are the best liquid like i'm sorry cream blushes i've used tower 28 beauty and uh this is a like a watermelon shade I got to say, uh, the look at how intense that is. Intense, intense. The biggest difference between all the other uh, balm blushes, balm-like or cream blushes that I've used, this is another color, just like a orangey shade, like a pumpkin shade, right? Is that even with Natasha Denona's cheek palettes, I got to say, it's... It's that after a few hours, I would always see this hairline separation. It's not like bald patches missing. It's not like patches of like blushes just missing. I don't have like circles or like with my skin peeking out. Nothing like that. But I would always see, maybe it's probably because I don't use like a makeup base, like a primer or a foundation. Probably that's why it's like I'm seeing that hairline separation because maybe my natural oils are coming out. Uh, I don't use like a primer or anything, so may maybe that's that's just me. Maybe other people don't really experience that. But with this, I don't see that hairline separation at all. Even after a few hours time, it's just like a blank, like a smooth blanket on. It basically looks like a moist. You know how like when you apply a moisturizer, it just becomes one with your skin. You don't see any separation. You don't see the moisturizer like sitting on top of your skin. This doesn't sit on top of your skin. It just like it just becomes one with your skin basically i was like in i was like awesome i have never seen that before with natasha denona's cream blushes i experienced that it's not like like i, I don't really mind that to be honest because nobody like an, an onlooker would not be able to tell that I have like sep makeup separating. Nothing like that. It's just like well, if you take like a magnifying mirror to my face and really look at my cheeks, you'd see it. But otherwise, it's like awesome, to be honest. Uh, but this just becomes one with your skin. And it's actually quite like it's not very balmy like this. You see how this is like very balmy and very glossy looking. This is not exactly like that. When you actually blend it and buff it into your skin and up and like when it sets, it's it doesn't exactly transform into powder. No, absolutely not. It stays cream. But I don't know. I like that it has kind of like a thickness to it and and really it's it's awesome. Okay, let's talk about this guy here. Um lips, right? I have three lip products that I want to show you. Where where are you? Three lip products, these three. Tower 28 Beauty again. These lip glosses are awesome, guys. This is a lip jelly. I feel this really is a jelly formula because I feel it's thicker than your regular gloss. And it kind of, I don't know, probably that's why it is like super, like has zero stickiness. This is the only one that has so much pigment. If you're looking for like really real color in your lip glosses, this is the only shade. This is in the shade spicy. This is the only shade that has like serious some serious color. But these lip the specialty and the uh, and of these lip glosses is that these are have zero stickiness. And there's no stickiness at all. But once you take your lip gloss off, it's your I feel it leaves behind like a layer of moisturizer, basically, or like a layer of lip balm on your on your lips, because your lips would feel incredibly nourished and so soft and just like basically like you've been wearing a lip balm all day. 
most of the times a non-sticky lip product any lip product for that matter if it's non-sticky i feel it just doesn't do anything for your lips it feels amazing it feels like a cushion like a pillow on your lips but once you take it off i feel it does just goes away but i feel this one has no tackiness but for some reason it locks that moisture in the nourishing uh formula kind of like just like uh goes into your lips and just it basically is like you're wearing a lip balm all day guys it's just i was i was like so so impressed i got every color most i, I believe i got most of the colors there was one color that was very light get it so i went back i got a mini uh, holiday set but i loved it so much i went back and i got all the full size version of the color so awesome this guy, YSL's Tatouage Couture uh, Velvet Cream. It's a pity that I got these or YSL released this formula just as the beginning of 2020 because I hardly used it. But it's an awesome, awesome product. This is in the shade 210. It's just incredible, guys. The longevity of the product. Look at how creamy and amazing. The, the applicator is awesome. It's it, it it goes on like a cream but the it, the pigmentation is awesome it also kind of like sets in your lips you know uh like when you drink you eat or drink the top layer kind of like wears off but the actual pigment itself stays on and after a point it kind of gets becomes turns into like a like a transfer proof lipstick so it's i feel it's like a two in one but still when you press your lips together it feels really comfortable light and cushiony it's really awesome i would say uh if you're interested in like a liquid lipstick at least try one at least try one it's so so worth it it's so worth it i'm telling you it's awesome that's one it's such a pity i did not i could not use it i've just been using this the tower 20 beauty because it doesn't have a lot of pigment and i don't use a uh, lip product under my mask if I'm going out, if I have to like run an errand, in the car I use the lip gloss, but if I want to get out, I just take it off quickly and put my mask on. That way I'm not wearing a lip gloss, but my my lips, actually now it's been like five hours since I like reapplied my gloss, but still I feel, my lips feels awesome. My lips feel so good. And I, and I was using this one, I guess, um, cashew this is the shade cashew so i will link the uh, video where i like swatched all the shades so this one from the bomb meat matte hues this is a long lasting liquid lipstick i think like a transfer proof uh that's that's the way they are marketing it and this is awesome i love the formula it's like so moisturizing it's not a like a cream formula it's not like this it it, it is not a, the uh, this is like a Liquid lipstick, but not exactly transfer proof. They're, that's not how it's marketed. But after a few hours, after a little bit of wear, uh, wear, it kind of becomes into a transfer proof lipstick. But this one is marketed as a liquid matte liquid lipstick, right? And it smells awesome. It smells like cookies, like a peppermint. Although I don't like that peppermint taste. The smell is not that bad. It's really good. And it's super moisturizing. Even after you apply it, the wear is good. It doesn't like get powdery, like patches are not missing. It's a really, really good formula. And the balm does like sale all the time. Like they do the 50% off site-wide sale all the time. You can just pick at least one lipstick and see what the fuss is all about. It's really, really awesome. Let's talk about brows super quick. I just have one thing to show. This Anastasia Brow Duffer, this is like a sample size like a yeah i got it as like a free gift for something i got from sephora this is in the shade ebony this is basically um brow definer triangular brow pencil so on one side you have this pulley and which is very super useful for all these like unruly uh, brow hairs and then on this side you have the triangular brow pencil and i gotta say i do brows like in seconds Hang on, where is that color? Yeah. I do brows within seconds with these. And it comes out so easily. I also have this one, Brow Styler from Benefit. I kind of commit mistakes with this. I usually, I have to be super careful with this. It has like a powder on the other side. 
it's a little bit tricky guys I, I i've made mistakes with this i had to be super careful but with this i just go in with ease and just like the and so precise but at the same time it's also easy to use it's not super like a uh, dark too but at the same time it matches in my hair color it's a breeze to use it i really really like the anastasia one what else i think we've covered everything yeah i think we have so that is it you guys hope this video was kind of well-rounded hopefully and oh wait i think i have one last thing the mascara is pat mcgrath's fetish eyes mascara i gotta say the formula is kind of on the drier side that way you don't have to like take all the uh, product off the brush before applying all you have to do is just put your brush in and just coat your lashes again put your brush inside and coat your lashes and you get like awesome lashes look at that i did two layers and i did not have to like take remove the product off the brush nothing like that i think it, the consistency of the product is actually pretty good it also helps uh, really really comes in handy when you're in a rush but you want to get awesome lashes you're able to do it without like clumping lashes come clump, clumping and product excess product sticking out of the edge or tip of the lashes nothing like that it goes on really really well so that is the last one and that's all i wanted to say the, i've been here for long and i really i think it's time to say goodbye hope you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe Bye bye